Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to install an application on Red Hat OpenShift 4.11 version using Web Console. In general, we can install the application using a web console or we can install a CLI method command line interface. So in this session, I will focus on the web console. OK, so let's quickly log into our lab system. Whenever we log into the Red Hat OpenShift console 4.11, we have a two types of options. We can log in with the administrator login. Uh, login ID is cube admin is the default administrator. Once we log in with using cube admin within the Red Hat OpenShift web console, we can see two options. Either we can access the administrator page, all the administrative actions we can perform in this tab. And also, if you see here, we can see the cluster inventory and we are using the evaluation version, version 4.11. And the evaluation is going to expire. It's nine days remaining. All the centralized overview we can see within the administration. And if you want to install an application, we have to choose the developer option. So go to the developer. If you see here within the developer, we can see the first option is add. When I select the add, if we want to install any application, there are multiple options we can install. For example, default, there is a developer catalog. When I select all services, we can see there are multiple options are available. We can install Node.js, Python, .NET applications, some Java related applications and all we can install. And that is also either it can be a builder images, development files, Helm charts and also operator back to files and also the templates. There are multiple options are available. Suppose if I select again the plus add, we can see we can install the database application also. We can install like MariaDB, MySQL, and all PostgreSQL and so on. And suppose we can install operator baked help Helm chart. This is all the one method. And another option is Git repository. Suppose if we have any Git repository access, we can deploy an application using Git repository. And another method, container images. Even if you have any image registry, container image registry, we can map the specific container image registry to install the application. And, and there are some sample applications also available by default from the Red Hat. OK, and another option is sharing. Suppose project access allows you to add, remove user access. This is only for the providing the sharing access to any of the users. And from local mission, some scenarios, our developers may develop an application on their local laptop or any of the test system. From that system, if you want to directly push it to the Red Hat OpenShift level, we have multiple options. Either we can import using ML or we can upload using jar file. If you have any code developer jar file on our local laptop, we can just drag and drop so that it will install the application on Red Hat OpenShift. Okay, and similarly, Helm chart repositories. Even here, getting started resources, we have a default some samples also available within the Red Hat OpenShift console. So for our easy understanding, first we can create a project here. For example, suppose go to the all projects. We can see there are multiple projects are running. If we plan to create a new project, first we can create a project. Let's say project name is, I'm keeping the project name as project one and the display name also we can plan to choose this is a project one and description this is only for just for application installation so either we can keep any of the name okay let's say project one description also now click on create so project creation is completed. If you see here, the project is project one. And now when we plan to install an application, you can choose multiple options, any one option. So for our testing purpose, I'm choosing the option container images. So when you select the container images, we can see the option deploy image. So deploy an existing image from an image stream or image registry. So image registry means either we can use Red Hat image registry or we can use any of the external third party image registry like a harbor or any of the third party options like Bitnami. Okay, suppose I'm giving a one of the 
registry is bitnami bitnami slash nginx this is the application name whenever we type this image registry path it says that it is validated that means we are good to install we are good to install the nginx application so it says uh, by default image name from the external registry we already given the external registry path and runtime icon by default it is showing the icon as open shift if you want to modify any of the different icon also we can choose the option to choose the any of the specific icons for example there is already nginx application is available so we can choose the same icon and under the general application name is nginx app and name you can use the either same name or if you want to modify the name let's say the name is app 01 okay that means it's a first app and resources we can choose multiple options either deployment or deployment con config so for the time being i'm choosing the option as deployment and advanced options target port 8080 and it's automatically create the route and just click on create once we click on create it will start deploying or installing an application on red hat openshift when i select here it says that it is pending state okay and pending statement installation is not at standard that progress we can see when you click here in the center we can see in the right side nginx app 01 we have a details we can see here container creating is in progress okay one container creation is in progress once it is completed this circle will change the color to dark blue so until then we have to wait uh, it's it may take a while to install this application if you see here nginx application is installed even we can see in the right side resources tab nginx app is running state okay if you want to view the logs click on view logs we can see nginx application is welcome to the bitnami nginx container and it is also starting the nginx setup and it started initialized and setup is finished okay so locks also clearly says that it's completed when go back to the pod and even we can see the pod is healthy state okay again go back to topology state we can see here nginx is completed when you go to the details tab we can see currently it is running with a one pod it is running state even you can put the cursor here we can see it is running state and if you want to open any of the routing information and all again go to the resource tab under resource tab we can see the routing tab you can open the url from this option or alternative method is when you select the nginx there is an option to open url either we can click click on open url here or you can click on under resource tab go to the routes and open the url location okay so for testing purpose i'm opening here open url so advance proceed to the nginx app see welcome to the nginx app is it says that clearly nginx web server is successfully installed and working so further configuration is required so we are successfully installed the nginx application using the external registry and registry path is bitnami slash nginx so similarly we can install we can connect to the command line and also we can try to install the same application okay so that's it for today thank you if you are watching this video first time, please do view, like, share and subscribe to the Gnant Cloud Garage channel. If you are already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.